through his golden doors, Donald J. Trump. His body language, on the face of it, defiance. America's 45th president, but the first to face a moment like this. From every angle, history recorded. The convoy to bring a president from his penthouse to the dock. And as the convoy headed south through Manhattan, he was, of course, online. This time with words that reflect the moment, well, perfectly. So surreal, he wrote from the car. Wow, they're going to arrest me. Can't believe this is happening in America. But so it did. 50 or so blocks south, a wave, and then steps into the history books, steps that no American president has taken before. Away from the cameras, he was fingerprinted, but not handcuffed, and no mugshot, and then into the courtroom. President Trump, will you come speak to us, President Trump? Inside, video banned, but the images tell the story. Flanked by his defense team, Donald Trump listened to the charges against him. 34 counts, 16 pages, and three different instances where he is accused of paying money to keep people quiet. Not guilty, he pleaded. Outside, the world absorbed the charges, unsealed for the first time. Among them, cash for a Trump Tower doorman relating to a child born out of wedlock. Cash for a woman who claimed she'd had sex with the president. And that money for Stormy Daniels, the porn star paid off just days before he won the election in 2016. The president departed with no words. They were left for his lawyers, a team who now know the details of the case they say they will fight. Today's unsealing of this indictment shows that the rule of law died in this country. Because while everyone is not above the law, no one's below it either. And if this man's name was not Donald J. Trump, there is no scenario we'd all be here today. Please understand that based on these charges. Back up, back up, back up! Over the road in the park, all the president's supporters, led by Congresswoman Marjorie Taylor Greene. And drowned out by the other side, a snapshot of the division that comes with every twist in the Trump story. Leading the establishment witch hunt, they allege, Alvin Bragg, the district attorney whose sights have always been on Mr. Trump, he had his moment. 34 false statements made to cover up other crimes. These are felony crimes in New York State. No matter who you are, we cannot and will not normalize serious criminal conduct.